Hi! Today you will learn about, Cordyceps mushroom. Scientific name of this variety of mushroom, is Cordyceps species. It belongs to the family, Cordycepitaceae. It has several common names, for example, Scarlet Caterpillar Club, Caterpillar Killer. In English, it's called Caterpillar Fungus. But it's better known throughout Asia by the Tibetan term, Yartsa Gunbu, which means, Summer Grass, Winter Worm. Britt Bunyard, a professor at the University of Wisconsin and editor of Fungi Magazine, explains that this fungi, Cordyceps sinensis, makes its living by getting inside, a host insect and ultimately killing and consuming it. In this case, the insect that's invaded is the caterpillar of the ghost moth. This caterpillar will bury itself down a couple inches into the soil. Meanwhile it doesn't know it, but this fungus is digesting it from within, and then in the spring this tissue erupts out the head. It may sound gross, but he says this pinky-sized, mummified caterpillar is the most expensive fungi in the world. The price doesn't compare to other fungi, the price compares to things like gold and platinum and diamonds. So what makes it so pricey? Well, it's also known as the Viagra of the Himalayas. The main difference between Cordyceps sinensis fungus, and Cordyceps militaris. The naturally found Himalayan Cordyceps mushroom, is Cordyceps sinensis but the cultivated variety is Cordyceps militaris. The two species of Cordyceps, are so similar in properties, that they share many of the same uses and benefits. Taxonomy General appearance, it forms 1 to 8 cm high, club-shaped and orange-red fruiting bodies, which grow out of dead underground pupae. The upper portion of the fungus, is orange and pimply, the lower portion smooth, and orange to pale orange, often curved, narrowing at the base. Few of the benefits of Cordyceps mushroom are. It produces Cordycepin, 3, deoxyadenosine. Anti-aging property. May boost exercise performance. Potential anti-tumor effects. May help to manage type 2 diabetes. Possible benefits for heart health. Help to fight inflammation and much more. Next is the growth parameter. The substrate, which is used to cultivation of Cordyceps mushroom, is supplemented black rice. Cordyceps naturally grow on insect larvae, so your brown rice and both substrate will be a nutrient-rich substitute. Combine the dry ingredients, like nutritional yeast or soy peptone, tapioca starch, magnesium sulfate, kelp powder, crushed multivitamins, and gypsum, in a mixing bowl. And it may be a suitable, substrate for Cordyceps mushroom. Temperature needed 16 to 24 degrees centigrade. Humidity required 70 to 80 percent, for successful cultivation of that mushroom. Now, come to the main cultivation method. We have to know that, this mushroom is cultivated, under lab conditions, where facilities for control of temperature, humidity, and filtered fresh air are available. Cultivation is done, in jars which are, kept on racks just like we keep bags, or bottles in spawn lab. First step, in preparation of the substrate, is the preparation of nutrient solution. For this we add, glucose, 20 gram, peptone, 5 gram, yeast extract, 3 gram, KH2PO4, 2 gram, MGSO4, 0.5 gram, triammonium citrate, TCA, 1 gram, vitamin B1, 50 milligram, vitamin B12, 10 milligram, multivitamin, 10 milligram, in 1000 ml distilled water. Second step, is the supplementation of brown rice, with above nutrient medium. Brown rice is soaked, in water for 30 minutes, cleaned, and washed thoroughly. Thereafter, the rice is kept on, a sieve or cotton cloth, and allowed to dry, for 30 minutes. Various workers have used, substrates other than rice, also used for the cultivation of this mushroom. Take clean, sterilized glass jar. Put, 20 to 25 gram rice per jar, add about 40 milliliters nutrient solution to it, and cover the jar with autoclavable cap, or polypropylene bag. Then autoclave, at 15 psi for 40 to 50 minutes. A small hole is made, in the cap, and it is plugged with cotton, before autoclave. Cool the jars, and add 5 to 10 milliliters liquid spawn. Whole operation, is done in laminar airflow cabinet, to ensure that, there is no contamination. 
jars are moved, left to right, to spread the liquid medium, over the solid medium. After inoculation, with liquid spawn, the jars are kept in dark condition, for 8 to 10 days at 20 to 22 degrees Celsius and 65 to 70 percent relative humidity. After complete colonization, of the substrate, the jars are kept in light, for a week, when the color of mycelium turns orange. Provide 12 hours light daily. It may take 7 days for yellowing, another 2 weeks for bubble and then pinheads formation. When distinct pinheads are formed, we can reduce the light to 8 to 12 hours, and it may take another, 5 to 6 week till mushrooms, attain harvestable size of 4 to 6 centimeters. Total time, required for one crop, from inoculation to harvest, can be up to 3 months. When head of mushroom, turns club shaped, it is ready to harvest. The mushrooms, are plucked out of jars, and then dried.